Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to design a poster. Um, we're going to design today's daily design. I never really know what I'm going to do with it till I'm actually doing it. So we might end up with something weird. Do you like the effect? I feel like a, like a photo booth fish eye effect is cool for this. This is the phrase I'm gonna use. I think I'm going to make this part bigger. So we're gonna go with the I'm falling and the can you catch me? We're gonna make it smaller, place it uh, around the bottom. We can start off trying, actually I'm gonna duplicate this first cause you never know, might need a backup. Rectangular marquee tool. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I think so. I'm gonna select like the bottom part. Um, I'm gonna rasterize this text layer. Then I'm going to press Command T to transform. And by holding down Shift, I'm gonna stretch this all the way to the bottom, kind of like that. Press Enter. Let's zoom in and see what I've done. Command D to deselect. Now we're looking pretty cool already. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I usually would double click on my layer and deselect two of the colors. So I'm going to leave with blue, then duplicate the layer with command J. I'm going to leave the green selected and duplicate once more and just leave the red selected. And now if you move any of the layers, you get this cool RGB effect. So that's how I usually start off just by moving these around and seeing what color combinations I like kind of vibing with this. I'm going to group these three layers, duplicate them, merge them. This way I have a backup with my separated layers in case I need it. We never know. Now we're going to um, go to filter and we're going to try liquefying this and seeing if we get something cool. This is usually my process, but I kind of like it when it's going outwards. If you hear a cat meowing, it's not my cat. It's my neighbor's cat. My cats, they behave well. Anyways, look at these colors coming out of the air. It's looking kind of cool, actually. Nice. Um, I'm going to duplicate my layer and then give it some blur and Gaussian blur. Blur always looks nice. I'm going to go with five. Maybe if I put this underneath and in the top layer I change the blending mode to something like exclusion, we might get something kind of cool. Kind of. Hmm. Not sure about this. Does this look any different? Kind of like this, kind of not. Let's keep it like this. And I'm going to add a gradient map to it. Click on the gradient over here. And I'm going to use one of my freebies, I think. Uh, something like this I feel like could look good. The blue one maybe. I love these colors, guys. This one could look pretty cool. I'm going to duplicate the layer underneath. I'm going to select the bottom one. And I'm going to grab my smudge tool from over here. And I'm going to see if some other colors can pop up if I smudge this a little bit. Oh yeah. Let's see. Okay, now we're talking. Okay. This looks cool. Ooh um, depending on how big your file is, your smudging will take some time. Kind of slow. So the smaller file size you have, the um, faster it goes. But you kind of want a bigger file size to have decent quality. Anyways, this is pretty cool. I'll duplicate this again. Maybe try and give it a motion blur. Oh, radial blur. Let's give it a radial blur. We're going to spin it. Maybe place it on top and then change. I kind of like it, but kind of don't. It's always like this, guys. I'm going to go with light and maybe reduce the opacity. Now, I want the colors to pop out more. So I'm going to grab this text, which was the original one. I'm going to duplicate it and uh, place it on top. And I'll see if I can make this cooler. Okay, now this look, kind of looks a little better, I think. Okay. Um, now this is all grouped together. Now that I kind of like what I did, I'm going to duplicate my group. Command E to merge everything together. 
And I kind of want to see how different saturations of colors are going to look. So I'll go to filter and add a camera raw filter. And I'm just going to play around with the color mixer over here. Just adjust, just try out different values or colors. If I want more green, more yellow. Ooh, this blue is cool. Then we have the saturation. So kind of neon kind of looks cool. And then lastly, changing the luminance. This kind of looks like it's glow in the dark. And then I'm gonna press OK when I'm happy with it. This looks pretty dope if you ask me. I'm going to right click and convert it to smart object. And then I'm going to add some noise. Probably gonna add about like seven. I might go with 10. And I'm gonna press OK. I already have a group here because I always use the same PSD file because I have all my like text at the bottom. So I already have a group with uh, the textures I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna probably like change it up a bit. Kinda like this effect. Um, Maybe not show this. And, ooh. All right, and that this is, I think I'm happy with this. It looks kind of good. What do you guys think? Comment and let me know what you think. What I usually do sometimes is also at the end, I'm gonna save this, um, then I'm gonna duplicate it and then add in the adjustments tab, a hue and saturation effect. Um, just to change the hue of it. So I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna see how this looks with other colors. And I'm thinking this looks kinda cool, so I'm gonna save this version as well. So that I have two versions. And sometimes I also add another gradient map to it with just a simple standard basic black to white gradient. Um, and just look how the black and white version is if i like it might save this as well so i'm going to duplicate it merge and now we have a three version post for today's daily design that's it i hope you guys love this video let me know if you want more of these um i know i usually make really like so much shorter tutorials but if you like this long form and see like what i do to make these posters just let me know thank you I'll see you soon. Bye.